Lock the brake. Push the brake pedal levers right in front of it. This? The brake pedal. The little levers right in front of the brake pedal. I don't see what you're doing. There's a little tiny lever. Mash the brake pedal down and flip that lever forward. Okay. There you go. What do you think? That's my first time ever making the argument. Did I do a good job or are they straight? You did a good job. Looks okay, so good. Now I got a plant. Now you get to plant. But that's by hand. Yep, you're going to do it by hand. <laughs> you got to. I'm going to plant. Tractor work only goes so far. Here, guys, just went to the garden. New potatoes. I know what we're having for supper. These things are fantastic. They're growing good. Thought I'd throw that in there and let you see. Look at that. Already biggest 50 cent pieces. Y'all see this? I am barefooted in this dirt. Now back to Eden, you cannot get back to nature. You can't feel the dirt, the coolness. It, it's just, it's great. This is how I grew up. This is how I did a garden for many, many years. It was, you plow the dirt, you walk in it barefooted, you plant the seed by hand. And y'all see, this long handle is attached to a hoe. If you don't know what a hoe is, it ain't what you think. It's these modern words, they take away from our old-timey words. This thing with the handle, it, I have been up and down every row, opening the rows. We use the tractor to till. We use the tractor to make the rows. So I did use the tractor, just saying. But from there, I've taken this handle and this hoe on the end, and I open the rows. With back to Eden. You can't do that. you got to move all, well, you might have to. You have to move all your wood chips. You have to get to the ground to open your rows. You can't walk barefooted. I'm just saying. It's pretty awesome. Listen to this, the winds blowing, the animals. Just listen. Y'all, that's nature at its finest. But I'm opening the rows. I'm planting by hand. I'm covering the rows with this long handled object here called a hoe. And I've watered. I put some tomatoes over here. It's in the shade. You can see all these trees. We have some sun. You can see over there. But 
This is my garden. This is my candy corn cabin garden. So I'm going to be calling it the cabin garden. It may or may not do anything, but I have corn, tomatoes, cucumbers, green beans, peas, butter beans, and zuki beans. Uh, like four different types of squash, some sunflowers. This garden has everything. I just came out here and planted. It's got asparagus in one end. Hey, we're going to see what grows. Maybe nothing grows. Hey, I'm going to try. So that's a little bit about what I'm doing with this. And these in the dirt here at Deep South, at the off grid cabin. The wind's blowing, it's beautiful. It's probably, yesterday got up in the 90s, today's probably only in the 80s. But guys, we have 40 degree weather coming, which means I'm gonna end up covering crops. I should be harvesting English peas right now. I should be harvesting green beans. I just planted some green beans for the third time. This is crazy, this weather has been weird. But I'm loving my nature, and we're going to keep trying. This garden, hey, look at this. That is full sun. That is our potatoes. Danny's done harvested some. They're just good eating size. And we have our, everything in the bottom section ready to start with the sweet potatoes. We're gearing up. We're going to have it. If the Lord's willing, we're going to have a great harvest. So, guys, hope you enjoyed my candy corn cabin garden. Barefoot, using a hoe, flattened by hand. Hey, it can be done. Thank you guys from Crazy Days.